Hello and happy Tuesday! Yes, this reading vlog is starting on a Tuesday. Yesterday, I kind of had a chill day, decompressed from the weekend. I started my rewatch of Avatar The Last Airbender. I did some planning for this week's videos and I mostly just kind of hung out. I got a little bit of reading done of Timekeeper. It is taking me a little bit longer to read Timekeeper than I thought it would. Um, today I have finished filming today's video. I need to go and edit it and then put it up. I have listened to a little bit more of Before the Devil Breaks You. I still don't know where this book is going. You're kind of just following the Diviners as they chase after one ghost story and the next and they are each dealing with personal problems and that's kind of mostly what this book is about so far. I'm enjoying it, but I don't think that I'm loving it. I am wearing the Coral Lina lip scents, and I don't typically wear lip scents only on certain occasions. Whenever I put it on, I always like put it on wrong or something because it always flakes off and it's just, it doesn't stay on as well for me as it stays on for other people. And I find that I am having to put on the top coat, the top gloss coat as often if not more often than I use chapstick so I don't typically wear this. Every time I give it a go it like never works for me but I always keep giving it a go and I love this color it's it's very pretty and bright and I love coral and I kind of like the glossy look but I just maybe should find something else or I don't know. So if you guys have any suggestions for similar products to lip scents or like lips like uh, liquid lipstick or liquid lip color, let me know. Um, so I am going to go edit my video and possibly do some reading. I definitely should do some reading. So I will update you guys later. spending most of the day listening to Before the Devil Breaks You. Uh, we went on a long walk this morning. Well, not a long walk, like a normal length walk. But I got time listened then and then I uh, did some cleaning and so I listened to some more of Before the Devil Breaks You then and um, let me just say that Mabel Rose is just straight up pissing me off. Everything she's doing is like so out of character for her and I know that like she's tired of living in the shadows and she wants to be her own person but I think she's going about it the wrong way and the things she's doing are really really dumb so I, oh my gosh I can't with her so anyways David, my younger brother, took me to Barnes and Noble, and <laughs> while there, I was like, oh, look at all these books I want. But that was the problem, because I couldn't pick one. <laughs> like, all these books I want. I, like, freaked out. So I ended up walking out with no books for myself. I did get this adorable bookmark. It says I read past my bedtime, and it's got a little fox on it. It's so cute. He's so cute. I love the little fox. And I got Ross, who, the 10th anniversary cover for Name of the Wind. He doesn't have this one yet, so I got it for him. It's got sprayed edges, and it's got like a pronunciation guide and two maps and some really cool end pages and, and stuff like that. So I was like, oh, I'll get him this because I know he wants it, and I can't figure out what I want. So, yeah, that's what I did, and... Uh, I had to leave Berlin, and Berlin was uh, is not happy with me. <laughs> she barked at me when I got home, but that's okay. But it's always so much fun going to Barnes Noble. I'm just drowning in my TBR, so I need to make a dent. I'm gonna order some books uh, tonight, 
when I kind of think about it and decide which ones I want. I know I want to get Nevernight and I am looking for uh, Mistborn, but I really want the pretty white covers of Mistborn. So, just gonna have to order those. But other books that I want. I almost got Sky in the Deep or Children of Blood and Bone, but I think I may order those off of line, off, off of line. I think I may order those online too. <laughs> but I forgot to show you guys last week, um, I, had a, I had a dress disaster and some custom sized dresses, like sizing is really weird. And so I bought a dress in the size I normally get, or like actually a size up with the size I normally get and it didn't fit. And I was going to get it altered and I couldn't get it I couldn't get it to close, so it couldn't get it altered. So I was like in tears. And so we went to Target and Ross bought me this adorable Niffler. He was like, will it make you happy? And I was like, yes. How could this Niffler not make anyone happy? So he's like, all right, well, you can have it. So I got my adorable little Niffler. I'm trying to find the best lighting because there's so much natural light in this house that it's hard sometimes to find. Because if you stand here, you're just like, drown out from the windows, but my Niffler doesn't care. He has a pocket. He actually has coins in his pocket. I put them in there, but I need to like stuff some tissue paper or something, then put the coins in there because the coins... Ah, Niffler pocket. Yeah. So, um, I have, I haven't done much this morning. I need to do a little bit more cleaning and organizing and David is coming over later i know why he didn't stay i don't i don't know but david is coming over later and he's gonna put together my bookshelf and i think i know where i want it i just have to move some things around in my studio and then um i'm gonna organize like all afternoon so i think i'm gonna put it right here it'll fit right here between the door and the dresser so i'm gonna put it right here and i'm gonna move this over there <laughs> these are all the books that i just got at half price books that are gonna have to go on the shelf but I need to do a little cleaning in here in the studio and um, fix some things and then um, I think I may, before I do that, I think I may sit down and read uh, Timekeeper for maybe an hour because I gave myself this like these reading goals for the month like okay I'm going to read this book from here to here and like this book from this day to this day and then all of that good stuff and I have not kept to my reading goals whatsoever and it's really frustrating. And I feel really behind. Um, so I was supposed to finish Timekeeper last week and I haven't yet. And I, I'm, yeah. So I'm going to go read a little bit of Timekeeper and then I am going to do some cleaning up in here in the studio. And then I'm going to make dinner for everyone coming over who's playing D&D. &D and, and then while David, I'm not even going to attempt to help David put together the shelves because he won't let me. He loves to put together Ikea furniture. You see, like, that, this desk is from Ikea, and then I've got two Kalex units here and he ah, here. Um, so all, like, I got some pretty great Ikea furniture for my birthday, and David put those together. Didn't, I think he let Kathy help with the drawers over here. His girlfriend and that was it um I didn't even attempt to try he was like no go away so <laughs> I'm not gonna attempt to try and help him put together the bookshelves um I may get a little footage of him putting together the bookshelves and then I may um shoot a little bit of footage for uh, of me um putting the books on the bookshelf but yeah I'm just gonna let him do his thing I think I'm gonna leave most of these books here I did get City of Bones, so this is gonna, I think I'm gonna have to move these two books. Um, but I think I'm gonna unhaul these. This is Starcrossed by uh, Josephine Angelini, and then I have the third book, Goddess. I have the second book on Kindle, and I, I started it, and I think I'm like over halfway through, but I just never wanted to pick it up. And I don't think I'm going to. Ross accidentally bought me Starcross. He didn't mean to. And then I already had it. So I found Goddess at Half Price Books for like $5. And I was like, sure, I'll get it. Maybe I'll, I think I'm going to get to this book. And that was, that's not happening. So I think I'm going to unhaul those too. Um, 
Okay. And then shift everything over and put City of Bones and then maybe leave these two. Uh, Caraval and Ember in the Ashes. An ember in the ashes, and I know that once I get the the rest of the books in these series, that they're gonna have to move off these shelves. But as of right now, everything is fine on these shelves. I don't know. Maybe I'll do a TBR shelf in the new book bookshelf, but that's gonna be <laughs> like I have a long TBR, a lot, a lot of books to read, so. I'm, I'm gonna go read. Thank you, thank you, little bubby calendar. This is so cute, little bubby. All right, I will update you guys later. Hello, happy Thursday, everybody. I just got finished filming my video that's going up tomorrow, and now I have to go edit it, and then after that I have to pack because we are going to Denver this weekend for a wedding. I am really looking forward to it, but it is going to be a long journey. We're driving there tomorrow, wedding on Saturday, and then we're driving back on Sunday. It's going to be a lot of time in the car, but we are going to be listening to A Conjuring of Light, the third book in the Darker Shade of Magic series by V.E. Schwab. Today, not only do I have to pack, but I have to fill my brand new bookshelf. Oh, I'm so excited. My little brother put it together yesterday. I didn't get any footage of him putting it together. I was too busy talking about books with Ross. I'm sorry. But now I have to fill this lovely bookshelf. I have to go get the books from Ross's office and put them on the shelf. And then I have books scattered. I have the Darkest Minds trilogy down here. I have some books that I just got over there. I have just ordered some books. So I'm going to have to arrange these shelves the way I want them. And they won't be completely full now, but that is okay. And then Ross has plans to build a built-in unit in his office which means that I will get another bookshelf in here and that'll go over there. So I'm just gonna focus on filling this one first. But while I pack and while I fill the shelves, I will be uh, finishing up before the devil breaks you. After that, I was gonna start The Dream Thieves, but I listened to my audiobooks on Libby and it's not available right now. Someone else has have it. So I have it on hold and I hope it comes available soon. If not, I'm going to have to find another book to read until then, so I don't know. We'll find out what I'm going to read. Today I found out about an event that Lainey Taylor is having down in North Texas, and I'm going. I've told Ross that I am going. We are, I, I am dropping everything. Not really, because that was a free weekend anyways, but I am going. <laughs> going to meet Lainey Taylor, because I love her so much, and I love her writing, and I love her books, and... So much love for Lainey Taylor, and I'm just so excited that she's doing an event that is within driving distance and that I can go to. And it just so happens that on that same weekend, Marissa Meyer is doing an event that Friday. So I am planning on doing the Marissa Meyer event in Dallas on Friday and the Lainey Taylor event in Frisco on Sunday. It is just going to be an amazing weekend of amazing authors who I am just thrilled to meet, who's writing has impacted me and whose books I just love dearly. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, that event is after Muse of Nightmares comes out. So I'm going to go buy Muse of Nightmares and I'm going to read it as fast as I can. I'm so excited. I do still need to read Heartless and Renegades by Marissa Myers. So those are getting bumped up on my list. I feel like I need to read those before I go meet Marissa Meyer. And there are a few Lainey Taylor books I haven't read, like the Fairies of Dream Dark series. So I'm going to try to pick those up as well. So I'm going to go have lunch and then get done all the things that I need to get done, such as editing, packing, and putting books on my beautiful shelf. I will update you guys later. Hello, happy Saturday, and welcome to Colorado! We finally made it! Okay, well, we made it yesterday. Really late yesterday. But we're here now. And we're on to our next wedding. Two out of seven. It's a lot of weddings. Yesterday we listened to how much of country we like to be listen to? Probably about seven and a half hours ish. About seven and a half hours? Uh a conjuring of light. It's good. It's not 
action packed, but it's got a lot of stuff going on. Like every chapter there is something. What do you think, honey? That's all? That's all you gotta uh, say? That's all I got. It's good. It's good. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't... Male. I don't have to do introspection about... for everyone out there then. Well, that's why all males, when they're facing a difficult decision, go sit at the bar, have a beer, and then once they decide, they actually start drinking. <laughs> okay, honey. So I still haven't finished before that double break to you. I have less than two hours, but I didn't get to listen to any more on Thursday. It got pretty busy, and I was in the car all of yesterday, so I didn't listen to any then um i don't think i'll be able to listen to it this weekend because you know wedding today then driving back tomorrow so i'll hopefully be able to finish it on monday i am almost done with timekeeper though i am 90 percent of the way through <coughs> the the love in this book is it's very interesting it just like it's like not there and then suddenly there, and you're like, hmm, that seems weird. Disney. <laughs> yeah, it's really weird. It's so Disney. Uh, I like reading about Michelle's dad from his perspective and his journals and the, what's been going on in his life and how he got into time traveling. And um, Rebecca played a pretty big role at the beginning of the book, and then in the middle of the book, she's just been like kind of an afterthought. And there was a betrayal in this book that you didn't see coming. Spoilers. I didn't say who it was. Just warn everyone. They'll never know what's coming. Never know who it is. Remember the same night Shyamalan? Uh, no. He didn't. It was a girl. But... I'm enjoying the book. I'm just not loving it. It's okay. I didn't. I don't think I loved it the first time I read it because I remembered a whopping one scene from this book. One scene. So it's a good conclusion, but I've got you know 10% left of this book. We'll see how it goes. So we're gonna drive to the wedding and enjoy ourselves. So I'll give you guys an update later. Okay, you ready? Hello, happy Sunday. It is very, very late here. It's almost midnight. We just got home from Colorado. Long, long drive home today. So, but we listened to more of a Conjuring of Light in the car. We're, I hope we're like over halfway. This book still has a lot going on. Every chapter, there's something new, some revelation or action or something that it's it's very interesting but when you've been in the car two out of three days both very very long like 10 hour days in the car you can only listen to so much so we had to stop listening at uh, some point and turn on some music because you know <laughs> 10 hours in the car is a long time and you kind of need to break it up we're gonna try to finish conjuring up light this week which should be easy to do because Ross goes back to school on Monday. He's going back for his master's. It's very exciting. So he'll be probably in more of the reading vlogs. He'll definitely be around for me more often. 
which is good and bad. <laughs> I don't know where my productivity is gonna go when Ross is home, but that'll be exciting. We'll be able to finish that together. I still haven't finished Timekeeper, but I've only got 10% left, so that should be very easily accomplished today and tomorrow. And tomorrow I also need to finish the Before the Devil Breaks You. But for now, I am going to go to bed because it has been a long, long weekend. We spent all of yesterday at this wedding we went up to Colorado for. We left where we were staying at 11.30. The ceremony was at three. We got lunch in between there, but it was a pretty long drive. And then we didn't leave to go back to where we were staying until like almost 11 o'clock. So it was a long night yesterday. It was a long day today. I think sleeping in is definitely gonna be in the cards for tomorrow, so. <sighs> Time to go get some sleep and unpack. And I will see you guys next week. Well, I'll see you guys tomorrow and you just won't see it until the next week. But I will see you guys soon. Bye.